It's time to get the rustler a Doug score. Geronimo! But first, a little bit of an overview. The Traxxas Rustler is a rear-wheel drive stadium truck, or what to most RC hobbyists will call it, a truggy, that started production since 1994. The first generation Rustler included an XL1 ESC, or even back then, a mechanical speed controller. It was driven by a Traxxas Stinger motor and a 2018 steering servo. The second generation Rustler was released in 2006, which included a non-waterproof XL5 ESC, and the motor was upgraded to a Titan 12 Tour 550 size motor, which is still being used today. The 2006 Rustler still kept the first generation body for another few years until it was updated with an aerodynamic shell that is being used today. Rustlers and every other Traxxas vehicles now use waterproof electronics. Now it's time for the Doug score. I'm gonna start off the Celestial chart with styling. The Rustler is a cool looking car but its aging design throws it off from a good score so it gets a solid 12 points. Top speed is surprisingly good. For a brush motor and nickel metal high drive battery taking the Rustler to 35 miles an hour with the included speed gearing is quite impressive, but not enough to reach modern brushless technology so it earns a solid 10 points. Acceleration is actually pretty good. Just like the Emax and Slash 2 wheel drive I previously reviewed, the Rustler just goes when you apply the acceleration. Its peppy acceleration brings it up to a 20 out of 25. Handling is quite good. I wouldn't say that it's the best handling car, but at least it's better than the Slash in my opinion, so it gets 19 points. Add it all together and the Celestial score is 61 out of 100, which is average. I think the VXL model can do a lot better than this. In the lunar chart, things start to change a little bit. Starting off with durability. First of all, I think that it's hilarious that the Rustler is way more durable than my Slash in my opinion. Um, allow me to elaborate on that. First of all, on my Slash, I forgot to mention this on my previous Doug score when I reviewed the Slash, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. I've broken caster blocks, hub carriers, shock towers, and I recently broken an AR not, a, not too long ago. Okay, y you get that. Everybody has that kind of problem. But the Slash has a big shell. And, you know, it's supposed to absorb the impact. My Rustler does not have that, and plus it's open-wheeled. On the Rustler, on the other hand, I mostly break caster blocks. My worst crash on the Rustler was back in 2016 where I crashed my Rustler in onto a pickup truck tire, and it broke an A-arm and a small bit of the transmission case. All in all, though, the Rustler still holds a stand, giving it an 18 out of 25. With features and equipment, just like the Slash, the Rustler shares parts with the Bennett and Stampede. Like the Stampede, Bandit, and Slash, the Rustler also offers a brushless version called the VXL, and that version includes features that the XL5 version doesn't have. I forgot one more thing. The Rustler also offers a Nitro version, just like the Stampede and Slash, so it earns an easy 22 out of 25 for versatility. Quality is nothing to talk more about. If you're a Traxxas fan, if you bought a Rustler, you know what's expected. Most parts shares with other Traxxas cars I mentioned, so it earns a good 21 points. For value, just like the Slash that I previously reviewed, versatility is a heavy word to use for the Rustler. I think that the price for the Rustler XL5 is decent. I do recommend this car to anyone, and I do know that many people will enjoy the car. Therefore, it gives it a good 20 points. Add it all up, and the total Lunar score is 81 out of 100. And now, the final Doug score for the Traxxas Rustler XL5 is 142 out of 200, which is amazing actually. Kudos for Traxxas for making the Rustler. This car is a special one because since the car is still available today, parts are always available. Without the Rustler, the Slash, Stampede, and Bandit wouldn't exist. 